Hello and thank you for your time today. I do my best to keep my videos as short and to the point as possible. There are important aspects of what I need to convey contained only in my video's descriptive text located below the video. Please remember to click on the descriptive text show more link and devote the necessary time to read this. My videos were never intended to entertain you or compete with other videos. The intention was to introduce some of my latest projects. That's all. All of my videos are unscripted and unrehearsed. I do not answer comments left on my videos. My descriptive text states why. Okay, today what we have is um, two Sony PSX555ESs. Uh, they are uh, straight line tracking BioTracer direct drive turntables. Uh, the one on the left is unmodified and has the original bottom cover installed and also it's using its uh, original decoupling feet. The one on the right is modified with my supplemental plinth and is using the original decoupling feet. Um, the, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a knuckle wrap test on both turntables. Uh, I know this is unscientific, but it's all we have sometimes to work with. So the point of doing the knuckle wrap test is to try to convey through the uh, audio that this, uh, of this video uh, that uh, there is a difference between the two, and uh, I believe there's an improvement on uh, the one on the right, which is, uh, has my supplemental plinth. My supplemental plinth is connected to the OEM uh, Sony uh, bulk mold compound plinth uh, at 24 points. So it's a 24 point connection uh, uh, approach that I've done here. And um, I've also damped uh, the front panel, uh, the, tone arm back, uh, the tone arm cover back panel, and the tone arm cover itself. Um, so uh, Let's uh, get on with this and uh, see what we learn here. And by the way, uh, we're using uh, the same uh, unmodified platters. This one is balanced, but that won't have any effect on, on uh, what we've done because I also do platter balancing. Uh, the rubber mats or OEM rubber mats are both identical. Everything's identical. Again, the feet are identical as well. Um, the only thing is, is uh, the one on the right has the inch and a half thick uh, supplemental plinth. Okay, um, Okay, um, maybe I should do this again just to eliminate uh, any uh, doubt about this. And this time I'm also going to do the front panel and the back cover as well.
Okay, really there's a huge difference between the toner and back cover uh, between the two uh, uh, turntables here. One might say, well, you know, it's probably the, the counterweight cover door that's rattling. Okay, we'll take that off and do the test again. That should answer that. All right. Um, one thing that's very important in any turntable is the uh, resonant characteristics of the tone arm, its energy management um, characteristics. And uh, these turntables are difficult to get this large plastic cover to behave itself. But I think um, I've done a pretty good job. Now, of course, the arm clamp, one could argue, well, that's rattling and the test is meaningless. Let's unclamp it, see what happens. I'll keep it away from everything, holding it by, hand, by my hand, and uh, minimizing any kind of rattling effects on the um, head shell collet and pulling it forward so it doesn't rattle. Next we'll do the uh, platter. They're both in the same position. Next we'll do the spindle. You can hear quite a bit of difference there. Okay. What does any of this tell us? Well, you know, it's um, there are differences in the resonant characteristics of uh, both turntables. Uh, obviously, you would expect that to be the case. One has a supplemental plinth uh, that I try to install very carefully, uh, utilizing my latest thinking. And um, I do think that it's a worthwhile improvement. Um, one thing that uh, is not coming through the video here is what it feels like to do this knuckle wrap test. Uh, what the tactile sensation is uh, uh, from my knuckle. So I can only describe that to you to the best of my ability. Um, all I can say is that uh, you might remember times when you've done a knuckle wrap test on a high-end loudspeaker with a very uh, substantial respectable cabinet. Uh, and uh, you probably came away from that with a knuckle that well, it's it probably hurt a little bit more than uh, a knuckle wrap testing a, a an inferior cabinet. So you know what I mean. It feels like uh, you're knocking on a concrete foundation, relatively speaking, of course, uh, compared to uh, a lesser speaker with a chintzier cabinet. Well, that's what it feels like here. Um, you you get that hard to describe. Um, solid, inert kind of tactile sensation through your knuckle, especially through the spindle. I really feel that there. And you can hear it too. So um, I suspect that what's going on here is that it is just much more of an Im immovable, inert, um, highly damped, well, I don't know about highly damped, but anyway, much better damped. Um, uh, uh, structure than uh, the unmodified uh, 555 and what happens is is that it's if it's not going to move much then it's going to your knuckles going to hurt more because it's it's impacting in a uh, relatively speaking a more immovable uh, structure 
um, therefore, uh, you're going to be, uh, you know, imparting more stress uh, and uh, impact loading into your bone uh, through your finger. Um, and that's what's going on here. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, I think uh, improvements have been made, and uh, we'll, uh, if I can make another video to um, go more in depth on this again later, I, I will. I apologize, my video uploads to YouTube have been very few and far between. Uh, you got to understand, I'm real busy here trying to uh, do what I do. And I'm not in the video production business, I'm in uh, the turntable repair business, and uh, it's not an easy business to be in. Uh, lots of things go on here that I don't know if you guys realize that. Anyway, um, thanks a lot, and I really appreciate your time. Uh, well, uh, until the next time, take care. Bye.